Welcome back in. Well, since this is Oscar Sunday, it's only right that we have some stars join us in the studio here. As you guys can see up here, we are joined by the Seth Joaquin section champs and Division Three state runner-ups. The Kofax Falcons girls basketball team is here and representing the squad, third-year head coach, Rexanne Simpton. And of course, the team's four seniors, Gabby Bittner, Macy Hyman, Grace Clark, and the next president of the United <laughs> States of America, Mari Ziegler. Thank you all so much for being here on the show. How are you feeling on this Sunday? Fan freaking test. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I love that. I love. It. Well, you should be feeling fan freaking tested. You know, you guys are South Joaquin section champs. Uh, you made it to the state championship game. Something that only 12 teams in the whole state of California have the opportunity to get to. So that's like the top 1%. I'm not good with math. Um, but at any rate, can you just describe the emotion of being able to make it that far and, you know, just how happy uh, you guys are of this team to to make it to that stage? Um, <laughs> I was just really proud of everyone because we've been putting in a lot of work since we were either in fourth grade and even just for this season since May, and we never stopped working. So getting that far was really like a dream come true. And you guys all being seniors, you know, this is obviously, this this was it. This was the last year. So to be able to kind of close out your senior year, knowing that you brought a section banner back home, knowing that you guys qualified and made it to a state title game, does that kind of give you some good closure as a senior and a way to go out? Yeah, I mean, what a way to go out. Like, it's very much a storybook ending for us, making it all the way to Golden 1 and the state championship. And we, made, we played in Golden 1 twice this season, and that was really magical. I feel like we really came together as a team this year, and it was really nice not to lose any seniors really last year. So we've all been together playing together for a long time, and we've really grown closer, and I feel like that's been great. Yeah. Now, Coach, one of the things that you said, and a couple of the, the ladies said after, uh, after the game was during the press conference is that you didn't necessarily expect to get this far, but was there a point this season where you realized, or maybe you knew coming into the season that this team was something special, but there was a point where you realized, okay, we can make a really, really deep run here. I think when we lost in the semis of sections last year, we knew that we had the same group coming back, mm -hmm. and we knew that um, we just needed some more time. And this year, as we kept winning and kept playing and competing against some really top-end teams, we knew that we could do this together and we just focused one one game at a time and once we got to the section championship we just we knew like hey we can we when we won the section we we're like hey we can make a run we can play with the best of the best and um that's what we did we just kept kept working now another thing your coach mentioned was the fact that your practices were brutal right and that, that's something that brought a smile to my face and a lot of our faces there just talking about how difficult the practice was in preparation for this deep run in a way was practice almost easier than the game sometimes with this group? No, I think we worked really hard in practice so that the games themselves would be easier because um, we like would throw elbows and we would push each other to the <laughs> arm and we would get mad at each other, but we would still then like say to each other, hey, thanks for making me better. She said throw elbows. It's a physical team here. <laughs> Mari. <laughs> oh, oh, Mari. Looks like you're the culprit. What did it mean to you to have the community support and encouragement and love behind you guys? Um, I think coming from a small town, it just means a lot because you grow up with these people your whole life. So having that support just makes winning that much more special because it's not only like a win for us, it just like brings the community together. And I think it's, we live in a really special place and um, I don't like to take it for granted just because I'm really grateful to be able to grow up in a place like Colfax. And building off of your question a little bit, Kevin, they're all wearing bracelets uh, that the entire team had made by uh, by a, a local uh, a, a local, sixth grader a sixth grader fundraiser local, for science camp a local fan. And then you talked about in your press conference uh, this past weekend when you you were talking about how these girls were those little girls looking up mm -hmm. to the, the the top of the top Colfax basketball players. Now they are that you guys are that for so many of the young girls in your community. For you ladies who have made that journey from being looking up to those players to being the ones that are looked up to how special was that for you to also incorporate that in a championship historic run for the school um i think it was really special that uh like our freshman year we kind of got a taste of what it would take to get to like where we are now um we had great leadership along the way we had different seniors our sophomore year and our freshman year that kind of stuck, stuck with us even through covid 
Um, and I think that really imprinted on us and that really uh, solidified the culture of Colfax. Coach, how, <laughs> how have these four seniors prepared the rest of this team? And how are they, what are the kind of legacy that they're leaving behind that you're maybe most grateful for that you didn't have to provide that, they did it for you type thing? I think just their commitment. I mean, and it's not just you show up in November. I mean, these girls have been playing basketball together, you know, two of them since fourth grade for, for the program and just learning the system and then the others joining along the way and continuing um, just to set that tone. I think um, that they've done a good job of prior, prioritizing um, us as a, as a unit. And I think the younger girls have kind of looked up to that and realized it doesn't just happen showing up in November, it happens long before that. And they're just reaping the benefits. And I think the younger girls, the sophomores and juniors will continue to carry that on and set that um, bar. We can tell from the moment you guys walked into the studio that you're a tight knit group and you guys have a lot of fun together. We just saw one of your teammates grittying in the background <laughs> off of this. So it's, it's, it's obvious you guys have a lot of fun together. Is there anything you guys do before games? And judging from the laughter, I'm assuming it's something. We do team dinners a lot together. Mm -hmm. So like every home game, we had a team dinner and we'd hung out for a couple hours before our game. And yeah, those were pretty fun. Yeah. Awesome. Always, always like watch a movie together and have a good time. Yeah. yeah. I think we've seen every possible Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have a favorite one? Mm, the murder mystery one was pretty good. Yeah. Jennifer was good. Yeah. Perfect. I like the water boy. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here once again. Mm -hmm. The Sac Joaquin section champs and the state runner up, the Colfax girls basketball team. Uh, they're talented. They can gritty. They can dance. <laughs> they love Adam Sandler. What else do you want from a basketball team? Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.